Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to this vlog where I'm vlogging my solo snooker training in real life. Just just to, straight off the bat, this is not a coaching session. I'm not a coach. There are other YouTube channels for that. This is just me filming my practice sessions, reflecting, wondering why I can't play this game. Why did I choose snooker? And then, you know, celebrating when I actually do something worthwhile. So the practice routine that we're doing today is I, I haven't got a name for it but i call it the airplane because it kind of looks like an airplane it's five reds in between the pink and black two above the pink and then as you can see the six reds either side of the middle and what these do they they sort of block you from doing a traditional lineup so where are we where are we playing today we're playing in sunny sunny bilston uh at the golden queue uh, i like the golden queue because it's open pretty much all day so it, if i'm free then I get a chance if I get like a slither of time. So let's crack on. So uh, I'm using my 360 camera, which I stick onto the sort of light, hence why we're sort of upside down view. But it's the best I can do because it's hard to put a camera when, you, when you're in a very public snooker hall. Um, so this sort of is my compromise of, you know, setting it up. And also it's, it's a lot more subtle so that people don't actually sort of start staring and stuff which can put you off um but i have to say filming myself um like playing snooker and stuff uh i, I was shocked at how much it puts me off because i was not i'm not used to filming my, my snooker so i was constantly thinking like is the camera on is this a good break there's a bit of pressure so in a way filming yourself makes you like give you like a little bit of an edge uh when you you know i play in a league so what, what we always say is like playing in practice is nothing there's no pressure but when you play in a league match there's pressure so filming yourself just adds it's not the same pressure but it like adds like a little bit of like oh there's there's something to it there's some stakes to this because people well i don't know 10 people might see it online so here you go, you can, that's the first time you see the sort of camera angle change. Uh, and you can see two whites there because that's kind of where the two lenses merge. Um, yeah, and I don't know why it swung all the way around there, but that's just some weird thing that the camera does sometimes. Um, yeah, and we're doing well. So basically, we, I've got rid of the two tough reds at the bottom, on the top cush. I've got rid of the, the three reds on the side and the one above the black. So this is like a pretty, pretty good chance. And really, I just, what I'm trying to do is just get rid of, like, the khaki reds. So, like, you know, I could have gone for that red in the middle. Um, but I completely balls that up. Just awful. I try and stun those shots so at least kinks out a bit. I can see the black. But now I've just given myself a tricky pink, which I managed to pot. Lovely. Uh, and we're back on track. But now I've given myself the problem of those two reds are in the way uh of each other and in the way of some of the reds just just by the pink so i have to think of a plan and luckily i sort of balls this up this shot so i, I stun it a little bit um and i tend to do that when i'm going off the top cush with the black and i'm see you can see me tapping the table but i see an opportunity here i think okay i don't really like this shot very much but i think i've got a decent angle uh to go in to those two reds which i do and I was like, I remember being really pleased with that shot because cannons <laughs> very rarely work out for me. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're back on track. I'm like, okay, this is this is a chance here. We we, we got one. Um, yeah, and and I I don't really count my break, so I don't really know what I'm on when I'm doing it. But I think, well, it's been filmed, so I'll just count it later. Uh, so. Yeah, I, I I sort of feel like I'm doing okay. But the only problem is, yeah, obviously there, I would have played the pink, but the red's blocking it. So I've just got to be careful that I'm not playing shots that are going to block me. And I think my plan is just sort of play in that area where I've sort of got to, so I can just, I've just got a choice and just get rid of this blocking red, which I do. And you'll notice that I don't always put the black on the spot straight away because I'm lazy. And this is the shot where it goes wrong. I think I popped this a little bit thin. I think it hits the top cushion first. I'm not sure. But it looked like it was going to like skim off the other side of that red. And I think I rushed this shot. I think I'm a bit frustrated that I messed that up and I rush it. And I miss it. So that was an 85. Not bad. 
uh, that was my second best attempt of this practice session, um, which was okay. But this, I uh, will show you my best attempt. I actually forget to put the two reds on the top cushion, as you can see. But I do remember, so it still counts. Um, and again, same tactic, really. Uh, and the reason why I like this lineup is because it's it's just you have to think a little bit you have to just do a little bit more planning like a normal lineup you do have the luxury of like well i'll probably be on a red um whereas this is like there's some degree of thinking still really easy compared to like other practice routines it's not quite the t routine so it's it's something that i should be making centuries on regularly um so you know it's not too bad uh, and what i'll do as well i'll I'll keep a record of of my sort of highest breaks of different routines for the channel um that's where i realized that i need to put the reds on the top cushion which i've done uh so yeah again just the tactic is just let's just get rid of these sort of smelly reds really on the side because they smell and i hate them um and and just try and clear the path for the middle reds uh, and this table it's it's right in the corner this time I forgot num what number it was but it's right in the corner and I played on it before it's a good table um, but the pockets aren't really like what I would describe as tight uh, I would say they're medium they're not like absolutely massive but they're sort of they're not that tight so that's also something to think about when you when you're jumping on different tables, which I like to do. I always like to play on different tables. I'm not one of these people that will be like, oh, I've got to play on this table. You know, I play with some people, you know, in in the club that I play in, and they're like, I only play on this this table, not this table. I'm like, you're just setting yourself up for like complete failure there because like. What if you play in the league and you or in a tournament and you play on a different table? What are you going to do? Like, it's crazy. So you just got to get used to, especially at our level, at amateur level. You've just got to get used to playing it on different tables, different cloths, different cushions, and some of them will be nice and some of them will be sort of not so good. But this table's okay. It's a it's a it's a decent one, and I feel like there's there's two rooms at the Golden Queue, and the one where it's all snooker tables that. They're not bad. People do complain about them. And I think the middle table is probably the best one. Obviously the match tables are the best ones. But um, they use, there's usually like coaching going on in there and stuff like that. So I don't venture on in there. But I'd, we did play there in the league. And uh, I, lo I, I, love, I love tables like that. Heated tables, star tables. I love it. People always complain that they're too tight. But nah. I love the challenge. Anyway, back to this break. We're, 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 we're doing well here. Um, and I should emphasize what is going to happen. Something strange is going to happen. So this camera, and you might not believe me, but, you know, you have to because you're watching this. Uh, this camera that I use is called an Insta360, and it only records like 29 minutes of footage. And then after 29 minutes, it will stop recording and then start recording a new clip. And the problem is it misses a shot in this break. And you might look at me a bit suspiciously and be like okay Mike sure 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 it cut out but I promise you it <laughs> it did um but you know I, I what what do you want like uh, I mess up pretty quickly after that anyway so so we're on 83 not bad again I'm not really sure that what I'm on I still I, f I sort of feel like I'm probably close to a century here uh and this is sort of where it all goes wrong really like I end up too straight on the blue um and this is the bit where it could say look so i potted the blue i promise um but why i didn't um like play closer to this red i don't know uh which means i end up playing the rest which means i end up putting the white on the cush which like i've got the two worst reds of this whole routine and a white on the cush which means there you go i miss I miss the black and this is pretty much my last attempt of this routine so I start knocking the balls around. So I've got two clips here that were just shocking, shocking shots and uh, just to show that you know I, I, I miss a lot all the time. Uh, here is basically the two worst shots of the session 
Uh, and the first one is a rest shot, obviously. Literally just have to roll it in. I think I was on a roll. I think I was on a decent break here as well. Missed it. Complete. Just awful. Look at that. Rage hit the red. Which I very, very rarely do. And a black off the spot. This is the next one. And I think I banged the table. There you go. <laughs> what an idiot. Anyway, um, that's it. That's that's my, my, my vlog. So I'll do a few more of these. See how they go. And... Um, I don't know. That's it. Don't subscribe. I, I don't. I don't mind really. Um, and if you didn't enjoy it, then why did you get this far? That's the real question, isn't it?